In this uh, video, we'll talk about meninges. These meninges are the connective tissue membranes which protect the central nervous system. So these are, in case of human beings, there are three membranes and these membranes are made up of various types of connective tissue and their nature is protective. We will talk about these three membranes which are found in humans in a minute. But before that, let us talk about these membranes in other vertebrates. In case of fishes, there is only one meninx. So fishes have one meninx. Singular is known as meninx and plural are called meninges. So there is only one and it is known as meninx primitiva. So the term given to it is meninx primitiva. It is a very simple primitive type of membrane which is protecting that simple brain that they have. Then in other category that is amphibians, reptiles, and birds. There are two meninx or rather two meninges. Two meninges and they are named as pia arachnoid matter and this is the inner one and outer dura matter. Dura matter. So there are two in amphibians, reptiles and birds. And in case of mammals, that is, and we are also included in the same category. So in mammals, there are three meninges. Three meninges. And they are known as, if we go from inside out, the innermost is pia matter, then arachnoid matter and the outermost is dura matter. Now let us draw these membranes and we will be drawing two diagrams. One just to show their locations and the second diagram would be a little in detail to understand uh, these membranes and their working in a slightly better manner. So if this we are drawing from outside in. So if this structure represents the bone that is cranium. So if we are talking of this as cranium that is the bone part. We are going from outside in. The outermost is dura matter and for our understanding we are using different colors and just to show that one line and the second line are there we are showing certain gaps but everywhere we don't have these gaps. So this is the blue line which we have shown is the outermost layer and this is dura matter. This is dura matter. Inner to dura matter is arachnoid matter. So this layer is the middle one which is called arachnoid matter and the innermost is known as pia matter which is just attached or very close to the central nervous system. So this is pia matter, pia matter. And there are two distinct spaces which are visible to us. There is one space which is below the dura matter or we can say it is dura, between dura and arachnoid matter. This space is known as subdural space. Subdural space. <coughs> Sorry. And below arachnoid, there is again a space. That means between arachnoid and pia matter, again, there is a space. This one is known as subarachnoid space. Subarachnoid arachnoid space. Now, these three layers we have drawn here in the sequence. 
Now let us quickly talk about these and then we'll draw a detailed diagram. Pia matter, it is the innermost layer, innermost, it is vascular and it is made up of squamous, simple, simple, uh, single layer of flat cells. That is squamous epithelium. Arachnoid matter, arachnid our term relates to spiders. So arachnoid or arachnida, a similar term is given to this because it has a network like a web of collagen fibers. So it is made up of fibers and it has a network of collagen and that is by the name arachnoid matter. The outermost that is dura matter, this is outermost and it is also made up of fibrous tissue. And this is the one which is the outermost closest to the cranium and the most protective one. Now these are the three things. In the subarachnoid space, cerebrospinal fluid is filled. Now, when we draw these in slightly more detail, we'll be able to see certain additional structures. And this is the part where there is the CNS. That is, in case of a brain, or let us write CNS. CNS. This would include brain and spinal cord. So these meninges, these are three layers of connective tissue which are protective and they are around CNS, that is brain and spinal cord. So both these structures are protected by these three meninges. Now we will take up this same diagram in a slightly detailed manner. But this time we would go from inside out so, the CN, if we are talking of brain, we know that the brain surface, the cerebrum which is there, it is not smooth. It has certain ridges and depressions, sulci and gyri. So, if we draw this as the brain part, then in this case, biomatter is just close to the CNS. That means if this is the part of brain, the pyomatter is going to lie right in contact with this. Not only that, pyomatter even goes into these depressions. So, here is what we are drawing as pyomatter. So, this is closest to the brain and it goes into these depressions also. So, if we make it like a slightly thicker membrane, then this is the pia matter. And as you can see, it is in contact with the CNS and is even going into these depressions. This is pia matter. There is no space between pia matter and the CNS, be it brain or spinal cord. So this is one detail that we know now about pia matter. So it is the same layer that we talked of. This is the innermost layer. Then the next layer that is the middle layer is arachnoid matter. And between pia matter and arachnoid matter there is a space. So we will show that space. So here is the space and this blue line is representing the arachnoid matter and in certain places the arachnoid matter has given rise to some projections. So this is arachnoid matter and these projections are known as arachnoid villi. We will see where exactly they go in. So this second layer that we have drawn here is arachnoid matter. And this space, this space which is there is actually the sub, which we have written here as subarachnoid space. And this is the space which is filled with 
the cerebrospinal fluid. So this is the completely filled with cerebrospinal fluid. And the inner part which we have shown here, this part, this is the brain. This is brain part. So now what we know, brain, attached to brain or for that matter even uh, spinal cord is pyre matter. Then next there is a space which is called subarachnoid space which is filled with the fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. Then is arachnoid matter, middle layer. The outermost layer is dura matter. This outermost layer that we have drawn here is with black. This is dura matter. Dura matter is thicker fibrous layer and it has sinuses. Sinuses means blood filled cavities. So here are these sinuses and these arachnoidal villi are dipped into these sinuses. So this black thick layer which we have drawn is actually the outermost layer that is dura matter. And these are, this is dura matter. These blue projections which we have drawn or shown from arachnoid matter are arachnoidal villi. So these are actually dipped into these sinuses from where the exchange of substances or gases would take place. There is a space here also. This space is beneath dura matter and that is why it is known as the subdural space. In case of brain, just outside this dura matter comes the cranium. That means between cranium and dura matter there is no space. So I am using red again. So this line represents the cranium which is just next to dura matter. So this is the skull bone which is adjacent to it. But in case of spinal cord there can be one more space which can be detected and that is between the cranny, uh, between uh, the backbone uh, cavity and the outermost layer that is dura matter. So this is known as epidural space. So here we will write in spinal cord epidural space can be found and if it is found it is filled with adipose tissue filled with adipose tissue adipose tissue is the fatty tissue so these are three layers which are protecting our central nervous system from inside out innermost pyre matter which is vascular thin made up of squamous epithelium middle arachnoid matter and the term arachnoid is given to it because it has a network of collagen fibers and it has certain projections which get into the outermost layer that is dura matter. Outermost is dura matter. There are two spaces between dura and arachnoid which is known as subdural space between arachnoid and pyre matter which is known as subarachnoid space. Subarachnoid space is filled with cerebrospinal fluid. So the function of these two things that is these three membranes and the fluid is to protect the brain and spinal cord from mechanical shocks and uh, protects the two delicate organs of our body. So uh, meninges one only primitive type in fishes, amphibians, uh, reptiles and birds have two and mammals including humans have three meninges.